Do new DNA tests mean there's new evidence in the mysterious disappearance of Austin Oldfield? Today on Rat and Cat, I asked the Skamania County Sheriff's Department if any new evidence has been found. Welcome to Rat and Cat, where we search for those who have gone missing so others can learn how to survive. I'm Nakia. For those of you who may not be familiar with Austin Oldfield's story, in 2015, Oldfield went missing while camping in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. Two different groups of people reported seeing Oldfield before he disappeared entirely. Both times he seemed to be acting strangely. There's been speculation about what might have happened to him, but to this day, nobody really knows. That's why in 2016, as a resident of Skamania County, Washington, where Austin went missing, I set out to search for Oldfield myself. It's also why I became curious when during a telephone interview a couple weeks ago speaking with Billy Oldfield, Austin Oldfield's mother, she told me that just recently both she and Austin's father had been asked for DNA samples from authorities in Kentucky. She was told by the investigator that samples were for the Austin Oldfield case. That left me wondering, had human remains been found in the area where Austin Oldfield went missing? To answer that question, I recently spoke with Skamania County Under Sheriff Pat Bond. I was talking with uh, Austin Oldfield's mother, Billy, yeah. and she was saying that the local sheriff's department was asking for DNA tests. Has there been any new developments in that there, case? There hasn't, but that is a normal process. So if uh, someone has gone missing, we will always get DNA just in case, uh, worst case scenario, we find remains uh, so we can positively identify them. So that's that's common on any type of missing person. It can be. Uh, it could be a runaway juvenile. It can be a missing person from a metro area in town. It doesn't have to be in the woods. We're required to get some DNA, dental and DNA. If one doesn't exist, we need the other. So that's a common thing. Is it common to wait a couple of years afterwards, or is it just that they're behind, basically? Well, yeah, not necessarily. Um, I think in his case, there's, you know, actually in looking at, at your documentary, there's there's speculation. You know, we've, we've had at least two confirmed sightings up there. You know, is he still, did he get out? Did he, you know, I think that held up, held it up a little bit. Um, I think it would, it would speed it up if we were to find some remains. Now, um, an interesting side note in, in, in that we did find some remains in that area and it wound up being a missing person from at least two decades ago that went missing in the same area. We, we thought initially maybe it was Austin, but the remains looked too old. And it came back as a female, yeah, from quite a long time ago. Missing person out of Vancouver. Really? Yes. Uh, were they a hiker or? You know, I, it was before my time. I thought it was very in a very interesting case. And I don't know the exact details of why or how she got to our area. I know that her vehicle was found, there was search and rescues done. In the same area that Austin was, it had been decades. And it was a, a hunter or a hiker that had stumbled upon a, a skull. And that uh, we were able to positively identify through DNA and uh, bring a little bit of closure to her family. Is that different than a skull that was found in another area in a field? That's a whole different case, is that right? Yes, there's, we've, had a, we've had a few of those. But yeah, we've had, uh, we found some remains here in Washougal up on uh, uh, Sky Road. And then we found uh, another skull up north of Carson, Stabler area, mm -hmm. that wound up being a homicide victim out of uh, Vancouver. Now I hope to go up and search for Austin Oldfield in that area where he was last seen as soon as I get a chance. A couple of weeks ago I went up there and it was still snowed in. So instead, this last weekend, I focused on a lower elevation search for another missing man, Christopher Zitzowitz, who went missing in 2013. I'll have to tell you about that another time. But before I go, here's a safety reminder. If you're exploring the wilderness, even for a day hike, always remember to take a survival kit with you. That includes a shelter, fire, compass, and map. All right, that's it here for Rat and Cat. Get out there, be safe, and enjoy the wild.